beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A simple life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. And hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and today we're bringing back an old game that I used to play, Subnautica. We're going to climb up here. So this is Subnautica. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. Basically what it is, is like a crafty game, but like a survival crafty game. Um, pretty much you, uh, well, you're, you're stuck on this thing all by yourself. What is this? What's in here? There's nothing in there. Can I take these out? I can take those out. Uh, basically, what this is is it's a game that, uh, well, as you can see, you can build different materials and things like that, and tools and stuff. And in the end of it, you know, build a base, build ships, specifically submarines, and kind of travel the world. Now you'll notice what is there's like smoke coming out of the water right there. Ooh, this is nice. There's birds. I haven't played this game in a very long time. The last time I played, um, the world, you know, the world wasn't the greatest. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go over this way and search to see what the fuck is over here. And you notice that my reticle is slowly going to the right. That's because the ship we're on here is slowly moving. Like everything's slowly moving to the right. This doesn't make... Everything's spinning. I don't like it. Yes, yeah, so this looks like a planet, so apparently we're on a terraforming ship, etc, etc. But the plan and the whole point of the game is to, well, survive. So here we'll see what we got as random goodies. We got some copper, some glass, some silver, so an advanced wiring kit, and a flashlight. Nothing too crazy. A log here. All right, the standard uh, fabricator, which is the thing I'll show you in a moment. Screenshots, data bank. Oh, nice. So this is the fabricator here. So this is what builds most of our stuff. But you're probably wondering, how do we collect shit? There's no ground. Well, we get to do this. Well, we're gonna stay away from him. Boop. We get to do a lot of swimming. So see, like, it's telling us to break the limestone here. Got a thing of titanium. There's some quartz here, which is one of the more important things. Uh, between that, pretty much two important things in this game are titanium and quartz. Um, sometimes it takes a while. You see on the left there, there is a gray, bo a gray bar and a red bar. As you can see, the you have an oxygen level because you're well, you're underwater. You be swimming. So we go around, we collect things. Those mushrooms can be collected as well for stuff, but what we want to do right now is we want to collect stuff like this and go around breaking up limestone if we can find it. Because we want to get a couple things. One, we want to get the ability to swim a little faster so we get flippers. And we also want to give the uh, ability to uh, breathe a lot more. So we're going to need air tanks as well, right? Because, I mean, you know, we're underwater. So it's got the usual like Minecrafty thing where it's got multiple different quote unquote biomes and things like that. Uh, we're gonna go up out of the water. There's limestone right there. Uh, everything regenerates. Um, I think it's on a 24-hour cycle or something like that. Some copper. So we build batteries later on. But it's not like certain games where they doesn't tell you what you can build. 
it just shows you everything up front. Uh, certain things you, you have to collect uh, blueprints for, which we will get into later on. Collect, uh, what's our inventory like here? Okay. Let's get ourselves some, some delicious, delicious quartz. This is something I don't think uh, was a good idea to go into. Looks like it's like a volcanic vent. Yep. We don't have the ability really to go down there just yet. Uh, we might be able to grab these three things, which is wreckage, wreckage, quartz. Quartz is very easy to find at night. Six. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, three. Yeah. Perfect. You hear a guy cough as if he's running out of oxygen. Um, let's get some of these. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, we can get some more quartz real quick. Delicious, delicious quartz. A lot of the life absorb. Oh, there's a baddie right there. Um. Yeah, it's one of those games where you can go around building stuff, collecting stuff. It definitely becomes one of those games where you, uh. You know, go do one thing that leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. And you're always collecting stuff and building stuff. Even when you're, like, it has no actual point to the game other than to, well, just to survive and build stuff, basically, at this point. There's no campaign, there's no... Oh, speak of the devil. See. We're going to get these two things here. We'll have to get that fragment. Fragments are what you use to do research, and it gives you the ability to build something. So in this case, it's the sea moth, which we'll have to get stuff for it momentarily. The sea moth is basically it's like a little, little like one-man mini-sub. in here, and we're going to build our first little bit of things. So, to build stuff, first thing, you click the Fabricator. You have your, your resource build menu, your personal build menu, and your deployables build menu. So you got things like waterproof locker, a gravisphere, a beacon, so you know where things want, you want to go, and then a mobile vehicle bay. This thing builds stuff, uh, so it fabricates vehicles for raw materials, as it says. Uh, you can build bigger subs, or the like the sea moth that we want to build a little later. What we want right now, though, some of that wreckage that we got, I like, can bring up our thing here. So these things break down. So this is composed of 87% uh, titanium. You get four titanium out of each one of these. Uh, so quartz gets turns into things like glass and, and silicone and things like that. Copper, well, it's copper, copper, titanium is titanium. But on the bright side, we can build things like batteries and stuff like that with the acid for the mushrooms and the copper. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to build ourselves up some titanium. You see on the right here, it says what you got. Everything lit up in green, or lit up with the blue background, tells you what you can build. Which is really good about this game. Is it tells you ahead of time what you can do. It also tells you what it takes. So I need more metal salvage if I want to make more titanium. So for base materials, we've got benzene, which is uh, oil and solvent for applications, and then synthetic fibers, for example, which you need benzene to make synthetic fibers, electronics. We can do copper wire, batteries, all sorts of different stuff. Here you can go to equipment and tools for equipment. Two O, uh, you know, O2 tanks, oxygen tanks. Gives you an extra 30 seconds of breathable air. Uh, fins makes you swim faster. A radiation suit. Reinforced diving suit. Still suit, this basically is uh, for, for water. First aid kits, rebreather, that gives you the ability to go at different depths. 
uh, air pipes to bring the air further down. Then we got tools. We got a scanner, uh, which I've never used before. Handheld spectroscope scanner for recording atomic level information on target entities. Okay. Flashlight. Knife. Flares. Habitat builder. So basically a builder. It's a tool to build stuff. Welder. It's used to fix things. And last but not least, the laser cutter. It cuts things open. Interesting. I've never seen that before. And then we have deployables, as I mentioned earlier. So what we're going to do first is we want to build some silicone. With the silicone, we can build ourselves some fins. With those fins, so we've got, a, got equipment. Well, it says, uh, translate vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust, meaning we can go faster. Well, picked up fins, and we should have automatically equipped them. Yep, perfect. So next thing we're going to build is two things of glass. And it even tells you, you know, in this case it uses up two quarts. We're going to go back to... Equipment and... Boom. We're going to build ourselves two of these things. There we go. And you see that our, our oxygen in Lee went up to 75, and now it should add a little bit more to it again. Boom. Now we have 105 oxygen, which is pretty good. But the catch-22 is it takes up inventory space. I usually like to go with three, just because it makes things a lot easier. Uh, let's see here. We don't want titanium ingots or silicone or glass right now. Now, one of the good things is we can we, we one of the things we want right at the beginning of the game is right here it's the builder so we need crash powder and magnesium so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit here and we're just gonna go pop up 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 we're just gonna oh you have to shift click okay get rid of everything so we need crash powder and magnesium so first we want to see let's take, let's see what it, it costs to get magnesium Magnesium is three salt. So we know we have to get three salt plus crash powder. Crash powder. Whoa. You were over there earlier. That is so cool. Birds. Um, wow. This game has changed a lot. Okay, so we need salt and we need crash powder. Salt is basically, these th you'll see them as three little white cubes. They're always in... And right now, salt, or sand right here, like this. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. Don't really want to go too deep as of yet. But at least want to get us some salt. Salt usually you can find like right in the little bios that we're on here. Um, See, so yeah, as I said, quartz is very easy to find. It lights up at night. It's got like that greenish blue hue to it. Salt is pretty damn hard to find. Crash powder, which we'll get into, is something that we might have a bit of a, a bit of a hard time getting. Because, uh, well, the crash powder is basically it's it's a something from bad guys. Basically, let's get ourselves. ourselves up here. Oh, cool. Filled back up. I'm going to come back down. Now, underneath here should be something. There it is. These things here give us oxygen, so we can actually go around underground. Or under deeper depths and get it. 
Where the fuck is salt? Jesus. Well, actually, we might be able to get some crash powder. So, in things like this are the bad guys. Which you should see momentarily. Uh, I think those are like leeches or something, so we don't want to even go near them. We have no way of defending ourselves against them at the moment, so... Basically, Crash, though, is... It's basically like this little animal that flies at you and then explodes. It's, uh, quite rude. Pretty sure there's gonna be some down here. Yeah, let's get some air first. So you can see there's tons of materials around. The only issue is just going around collecting them. Okay. So I think in this area there should be some sort of crash animal. Didn't you used to have to get the... Uh, let's get ourselves... Stuff while we're down here. If we're gonna risk our lives, we might as well. Really, there's none in here? Huh. Okay. Usually there's at least one or two guys in there. Let's uh, continue swimming here. You'll find that getting things like uh, titanium like this and quartz becomes like a bit of a, a Lay's potato chip thing. Later on, we'll want to get a lot more ballsy. Let's we'll go over here and get some oxygen real quick. You'll see as we go over it, it'll hit us and it'll all refill. It does about 10 at a time. And one more round and we'll be full again. Seamoth. Oh, it says at the very bottom we need a little scanner. Okay. It's getting a little out of our range there. We don't want to go too far into the depths yet. Basically, the, the deeper you go, the harder the game is, basically. some of this crash powder. Crash powder? Like, I never thought salt or these bad guys would ever be so fucking hard to find. Jesus. Let's, uh... We'll get the salt first. Salts should be easy. Usually, when you find the the baddies that has the crash the, the, that have the crash powder, usually you get quite a bit. Okay, there should be some over here. So, last week, when I used to play the game, they used to be in the these caves over here quite quite a lot, and you used to sit back and just freak out because there's so many in here. There we go. So this is a crash. Oh, 
that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. But the catch twenty two is we want the crash powder. That isn't in there. Okay. How the hell do we get crash powder? Do I have to kill those things now? Is that how you get them? Maybe that's it. Maybe you have to kill them. Couldn't kill them back in the day. So let's build ourselves a knife. On the way back, we'll grab some more titanium. It's full. Is it full of quartz? It is. Just gotta remember what direction we're going here. Dang, we went pretty far. Ah, uh, okay. So we went in that direction. Later on, we'll get a compass and, and things like that. Way to make crash powder, or do we have to? Yeah. So the thing is, here we're gonna build ourselves a knife. And there we go. So in the next episode, we are going to do what we can to find uh, salt and lots of it. And, uh, and crash powder. Try and figure out how the hell to uh, do the next thing. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.